all the basic food groups in there. Uh, healthy amount of lasers, so. Yeah, um, just like very, very much like, you know, al already like pretty good spot, like pressuring in the corner a little bit, but not going too far um, into the corner. Um, except that one time where, you know, everybody's got a down air into the corner once or twice into a shield, but <laughs> it, it <laughs> that's kind of how it is. It, it's a funny spot because, of course, you can't never attack Sheik, uh, or you're going to run at the risk of just, like, you know, letting them get away with stuff for free. But you, Sheik is very good um, with, like, when, when Falco is cornered, it's a really bad spot for him, like, more so than in other matchups. Oh, yeah, because so, you could just die. <laughs> yeah, so you really, really want to be careful about that position. But again, if you respect her too much, you're just giving away, like, a bit of an extra advantage. Should be dead here. Yeah. It doesn't go off stage. I thought, you, like, he turned around to do the back air, but then second-guessed himself and went back on Yeah, maybe, maybe just, like, didn't react to the drift properly and, like, didn't wasn't able to get off stage. But, uh, okay. Oh, again, again missed the, yeah. miss the wave dash angle right there. See, that's why you get notches. That was a yes. little bit tighter, at least, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, this is where Falco actually can kind of get some decent damage. Like, 145, you're, you're kind of like weirdly feeling feeling good about this situation. Uh, but yeah, you can but, open her up really early. Mm -hmm. But you see what I mean with like a little more balance? Like, yeah. didn't, didn't completely go back and just shoot lasers all the time, but like was was kind of like, oh, I'm gonna pressure in this situation. I'm not just gonna sit back and like sit on my 170%, you know? Although it might have been better for him to be a little more like uh, more passive in that in that regard, but that's just not the kind of guy he is. He's gonna he's gonna shoot a little bit, pressure a little bit, go back to shooting some more. A, a healthy mix, a balanced diet. Exactly. Um, one thing I always like to look at uh, in this matchup is how do the Falcos engage with the side platform? Because uh, what Sheik's like to do a lot is like kind of like short hop charge needles on side platform. And there's a couple of kind of like interesting ways to engage with that. We saw Fudge going for like up air a lot. So there's kind of some like shield hooks you can do with like a jump shine. And you kind of like basically like want to get under Sheik because she doesn't really have those like downward hitboxes at all. Yeah. So depending on how good the Falcon player is at engaging with that position, it's usually a good way to gauge like just how good they are in the matchup generally. Yeah. Um, because you can like, what you don't want to do is like back off and start shooting lasers away from them or something. It's it's not good at all. Yeah. Okay? I will say though, um, you, said, you said that thing about how like Sheik doesn't have that incredible like landing hip like downward hitboxes in yeah. the air. Dreffen will down air. <laughs> doesn't make down air a fast move. Though, it doesn't right? make it like the best move, but like his ass do be down air. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. But you'll see Sheik's down air a lot in a. Uh, in combos or sometimes like to mix up coming down, but oh, no. he can't like down air from the from the side platform without shield dropping or something, and that's not really an option that she uses because it's not very good. Oh, that was kind of weird. yeah. I got a got a little too antsy. I was thinking maybe nice. like put on an F tilt rather than uh, trying to like do anything else, but you just hold ledge. I don't like the shine I don't like there. The shine that's a down tilt for sure. Yeah. Oh, full hop there instead of short hop back airing. I don't. Know. This missing, where, a, uh, missing a missing a. It gets backer, a little scarier, yeah. but yeah. Back air with passing the eye Dreffen, though. Like, that actually looked like, uh-oh, like, um, uh oh, like, okay. yeah, like, is he gonna live? Okay. All right, well, this is a very close game one. I like the lasers. I think actually this is where building up a bit of percent would have been valuable. Now you're outside of that threshold. Love the back air as well. Roll up. No jump. Okay. Is able to get some punish, but back of nice. the jump, that back is gonna do it. All right. Fudge. Fudge takes game one on the board. All right. Very impressive. Also, uh, I, I look over and I see the 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 Falco conglomerate over there. There's a I'm Michael, by the way, Brad and uh, Lewis, two from from Long Island, uh, one of them from Canada, and then also add one who's just their friend. <laughs> but uh, everybody's everybody's here for the fudge dub. And uh, I'm sure if I open expert chat, they're all popping off too. Okay, but Dreffen. He's been around for a long time. He's been around the block. He's no stranger to being down 1-0. That was such a good nair. I love uh, following the rule as well. I, what an amazing stock. For yeah. No, I like That was very, very good. He's good, right? <laughs> one of those things where, like, you know, that's not going to make it into a compilation, but, like, all of the decision-making behind that was really good. Yeah. Uh, as a Falco main myself. Yeah, very smart, very knowledgeable player. Uh, this this, this much guy. Lots of shield grabs. Uh, shine grabs. I think... Grab is one of those things where, like, it's weird because it 
It obviously doesn't seem that good, but like Sheik's will kind of like not respect it as much because you know like it seems like I don't need to worry about that. I'll let them uh, shine grab my shield, and it you can really punish them for that. They're in a lot of like creative ways. See, that's what we're seeing a lot here. I, I'm liking what Fudge is doing a lot. Like Fudge is good at this matchup. Straight yeah. Up, like, no, he he is. He's got um. There's a there's a few sheiks in uh, in Philly that he will he will play often. One of them being Porkers. There's actually a a funny little thing in Philly called the uh, the Porkers line, where basically like the question nice. the question always is, do you clear the Porkers line? And, and what what does that mean? And that basically just means like, are you good enough to be Porkers? Oh, okay. one of, like one of the Philly players. I think was PR at some point. I don't know if they are currently, but uh. Oh wow, fighting out of the corner. But yeah, Porkers is a sheep. That, that that is that is the relevance that I uh, that I create here. I see. Okay. Up yeah. air? No. Nope. So basically, no stranger to this matchup, and it's kind of kind of whooping Draftin right now. Like like this is this is extremely one sided. Yeah, in a stage that like not only did Draftin counter pick here, but on paper it felt like it made sense. Like uh. It kind of mitigates the platform game a little bit for Fudge, but Fudge is not uh, allowing that to happen. Not Great grab, though. at all. Okay. This is big. This is so big. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. This is, uh, he's, I, he's like, playing, he's playing the distance so well. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, wow. And missed, I think missed, yeah. a, missed a wall jump back air right there, which is what that fastball there was, but... Yeah, either way, fudge up too well. Like, this would be a pretty significant I, upset. I would say this is, like, not only just from a seating like that, definitely beating Dreffen would be very impressive. Yeah, but absolutely. But obviously, Dreffen not out yet. Uh, Dreamland mixing it up. I think this will be good for I, I think this is a great pick from Dreffen. I feel like uh, Fod clearly a... Uh, I mean, I actually think low-key Fod is, like, a pretty good Falco stage. I think so, too. I've always thought so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, no. I think I think I think this is gonna serve Dreffen a little bit better, because um, maybe the distance and the patience is gonna is gonna make a younger player like Fudge a little bit more impatient, and that's when he's gonna be able to like get more of his follow ups and like his like you know everything. And that was already like a clean stock. It's gonna take a lot more like interactions for Fudge to to like take stocks. So I think that's gonna that's gonna serve Dreffen a lot. I agree. There's a shine grab again. Like, you can see what I mean. It's like, what did you get from that? Well, like, a corner position, you got a bit of extra damage. Sheik is still off stage. Like, but they they, they let you get it. They're, they're kind of, like, not afraid of it. They're more afraid of shine. They're afraid of, like, airling the shield. And it's just so damn good. Yeah. Yeah, no. Fudge is uh, still a... Uh, I don't know. It's still his, so good. It's, it's funny because I, I, I talk to... Every Falco I talk to is like, yeah, I don't know. Sheik's like extremely hard to like get damage on and punish and i feel like every time fudge has gotten an opening has gotten like very solid punishes but also understands exactly when to reset back to neutral and make it really hard for sheik to get their openings like all the pressure, pressure all the pressure is so smart and so clean and then like as soon as he like he understands so well when the combo is over and it's like all right time to back off play this matchup and if they try to reach for me i'm gonna be able to punish it from this range I gotta say, as a Falcon player, like... Are you taking notes? You watching? No, no, it's not even that taking notes, it's just like, very impressive, yeah. Oh, no! Uh, Wispy! The most obvious Wispy thing ever, right? No, obvious is in that like, he should have known, but we're like, we all just watched Wispy fuck that up. Yeah, know? no, like, that was like... There was, that's like no... Yeah, there's no, there's no like, oh, that's not what he meant to do. It's like, he meant to do a down smash. We all know that was a down smash. Yeah, but we saw the sequence earlier yeah, in this game. You exactly. Know? Like, <laughs> it was the exact same sequence with a... Uh, and, and like... In my brain, I'm thinking like, oh, you oh, can also offset tech. Big the, up tilt. Yeah, that, that is huge. Oh, hold on a minute. So I would say I'm not taking notes because I actually feel like I've worked on this matchup a lot. And the reason why uh, I'm so impressed is because the stuff that Fudge is doing is like, like this is the kind of stuff you should be taking notes on. Yeah, the only reason I wouldn't be is because I've already taken the notes. Yeah, you know? like he's you, following the blueprint. You already, you already read the textbook. It's yeah, all right. Exactly. <laughs> I've already got plenty of notes. I'm ready for the test. Okay, whatever. But,
So, Director pretty much every time is on to do this set of the tech chase and not go for kind of an early game. And some of that is the knowledge that like Fudge probably knows some of the, the jump check kind of moments. But that said, I feel like not trying to set up for like an early cheesy kill, especially when kind of you're down. I, I don't know, like, I don't love it. But this has been a great sequence so far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I will say, like, what an angle. despite how good Fudge is playing, I don't think Drefin is playing that incredible. I think yeah. there's, I think there's a lot to be desired in the way that uh, left, that Drefin is playing. That said, I think like I think uh, it's not easy. It'll, it'll playing in a way now. where it's getting it's really hard for for Drefin to get in. I think there might have been jump there. But yeah, that's it. Wow, three oh thirty. That's a that was crazy. That's a thirty on thirty. That was crazy, and that was one of those sets too where like. Like, I, I agree with you, maybe Drefin just wasn't playing kind of up to, to his skill level. Yeah, I, I, but, I definitely but think Fudge he Fudge played well. Yeah, so no, I, like, think, I think Fudge played know, incredibly well, played yeah. the matchup. He's <laughs> he heard me say okay. that, he it was went, okay. Yeah. It was okay, it was okay. <laughs> no, it was good. It no, was you played good. good. You played really I think, good. <laughs> I think I like, there's no such thing as like a by the book play style, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and like, you don't want to kind of hyper focus on that. But there are a lot of things that Fudge was conscious, consciously choosing um, where you cannot help but walk away from that going, Fudge, is, Fudge knows the matchup. Oh, yeah. Period. Oh, and yeah. like, uh, like, and also what separates players like Fudge from the average player is you could kind of like almost hear the internal game plan through the play. Like, like yeah, things was, that he was doing, you'd be like, oh, he's knocking him off stage again. What you want to do, because Sheik's recovery is bad, and you can build up a bunch of percent. That kind of thing. Yeah, no, I, honestly, like, I was, I think I... I need to send that set to like some Falco players, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Especially the ones that are like, I don't know, like I don't really know how to combo. It's like, listen, get your damage, understand when the combo is gonna drop and when they're gonna be yeah. able to like wiggle out and counter hit you, and then just disengage, play the neutral again, and then get your opening again. Because Fudge was doing that so yes. so well, like it, like he take entire stock straight. Like, not even, like, true comboing or anything. It's not like he did, like, in some insane sequence. It was just he knew exactly when to stop, back off, shoot lasers, look for his openings, catch Drefin coming in, like, if, if he was trying to come in and, like, punish or anything, and then just perfectly punishing and it's facing around. I need to send that specifically to, like, Django. Because <laughs> he, 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 he hates that matchup. But, I will uh, say, though, that Drefin did not... I would say, broadly speaking, gave a Fudge too much respect, mm -hmm. and especially in, like not trying to go for these like I feel like I'm sort of repeating myself with what I said with the Marth earlier but like some of those down throws at the corner had to be back throws like they just have to be it's yeah. one of those things where like as the Falco you get back thrown on a ledge and you're like oh yeah my you're, God. You're, you're you're panicking a little bit uh, sometimes a lot of it and, and you're like and this is how I lose you know like yeah yeah and especially so. in like some high pressure situations where it's like you get back and you're like, oh god, oh god, oh god, yeah. oh god. Like if they read me, I'm dead, you know? And this like, is the thing, there are situations where like technically there might not even be a true call out. Like maybe you can just back throw, like you can jump back side B and they can't hit you in time or something. Yeah. But it's just like, you just gotta throw that out sometime. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you, you gotta say you like, do to. you got these? And even if they do got these, they're like, I know from the Falcon perspective, you're like, Oh my god, I hope I don't get right again at the ledge. Like, that was rough. No, every so. time Falco's at like super low percents and I get a grab in the corner, I'm throwing them off stage. Yeah. Absolutely. Because yeah. even if they come back with some sort of recovery, I vault that and I go, oh, okay, he double jumped there to like yeah. catch me trying to like punish in some way. I'm gonna remember that. I might throw out a counter next time. I exactly. might wave dash in and then just like F smash it. You know, like it. That you got to keep those things in your mind. And, like, you only get that information if you throw that mix-up at them more and more times. Yeah. But anyways, sure. now it's a fun set. I don't know what we have next. Okay. We are uh, we are finding out if we have another set. Yeah, potentially could get one more. I mean, I honestly, hope so. Yeah. I want to see so, more so melee. So far, they've been pretty solid. I yeah, think, this uh, that was one of the more standout ones. Yeah. I yeah. do don't do feel like Treffin wasn't playing that well like you said. I don't think he was. And yeah, I no. think like I don't know. I've said I've said it already, but I think like there were certain moments where it was like, you know, you're you're respecting Fudge way too much. Uh, and not because Fudge is bad, but just because like you, just like th Falco is bad at certain spots, man. Like there, you gotta put him in those spots. There needs to be a healthy amount of respect you yeah. give to the person that you're playing against. Where it's like, yeah, their character has these capabilities and you should respect that. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you need to understand when 
to not respect them and be like the risk reward here is really good for me, so I should just go yeah. for it. You no, know, for sure. I think ha ha knowing knowing that is very important, in my opinion. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, I'm sure that's not the last we see of Dreffen. Um, no, no. I I feel bad for whatever poor soul has to like has yeah, like Dreffen in that's his right because he ca if he catches fire, starts playing even be like better than he is now, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough uh, it's gonna be a tough losers bracket for some people. Uh, unfortunately for them. But this is why I'm not in bracket. <laughs> I don't want to be on the receiving end of that. <laughs> yes. We can dish it out. We can't take it. Um, yeah. All right. Sure, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is going. That was that was fun. That was our last set. But uh, shout out to House of 3000 uh, doing the stream for, uh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're doing the stream for Ultimate, which is great. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely follow them. They're New York based. Uh, they used to do. I don't know if they still have the 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 local that they used to have before the Zeno. I think that I, I want to say that ended. But you should still consider them for your majors. Um, you should consider subbing to them on Twitch, supporting them, subbing them on on your YouTube. You know, go go watch them vods. You know, and uh, they're really good at uploading as soon as 